welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. Well, I always say that, but I love to talk about health and wellness and food and all the different things that I'm trying on my channel. So that's today's video. So not necessarily about fashion, beauty, or lifestyle. I guess it's a healthy lifestyle. You know what I'm saying. So I'm going to talk to you about, which you already probably know from the title, is my 30 day cleanse. I'm not strictly doing a juice only cleanse. I am doing vegetables and fruit only and mostly consumed in juice. Um, so basically this is not for weight loss. Walter. <laughs> it's so creepy. This is not for weight loss. This is for health. <laughs> okay, I take 100. This is not for weight loss. This is actually for health. Weight loss is a added benefit, but I'm doing this for health and wellness. And so basically what led me down the path to deciding to do a cleanse was I was having a few health issues, uh, which I won't go into the details, but I got some tests done, blood work, all that stuff, and everything was fine. And I talked with my doctor and he had a few ideas, but he was like, you know what? Everything is fine. Whatever is abnormal, it's going to normalize. Don't worry. But I was like, mm, I want some like real guidance on how I could get my body to be working harmoniously at 100%. So I called my naturopath that I was seeing in Kansas City and I'll link his information down below. He is phenomenal. And literally after 20 minutes on the phone, he's like, I know exactly what this is. I know what you need. Boom, bang. And here we are today. So I'm doing a lymphatic cleanse and your lymphatic, your lymphatic system, let me pull this up. So your lymphatic system is the network of vessels through which lymph drains from tissues into blood. <laughs> so I, basically what I know as well is that it it is the area in your body that helps you get rid of toxins. So this is like your body's kind of, he described it as like a highway and when something is wrong and it's getting congested, your body's not able to release the toxins, which can kind of confuse your body. And so basically what a lymphatic cleanse is, is it takes any stress off your lymph system so that it can kind of figure itself out and get the highway, the traffic jam moving again, and your body will start to release the toxins. So I am doing that. I will have more information linked down below. I am not a doctor. I don't know much about lymphs and things like that. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I will link that down below. Again, if you look at my naturopath, um, Vaughn Lawrence with Spirit of Health, he talks a lot about the lymphatic system. He has YouTube videos, a ton of information uh, on health through like so many different categories. So he's a great resource. Um, but basically some of the things that I picked up. He has a lymph cleansing kit and I'm going to show you some of the things that came in it as well as some of the juices uh, that I've been making. I can show you maybe we'll make one, the easiest one, the celery juice. <laughs> but anyways, so um, in the kit I received a lymphatic system tonic one. I have not been good at taking these. I've been on, I'm on day four of this cleanse. I've lost four pounds which is amazing. Um, but I totally forgot the first day to take the vitamins. So then I took it the second day and then yesterday I only took it once and today I've been taking it again. So I need to get on track starting tomorrow. I'll take it tonight. So I take two of these twice a day as well as this turmeric power plus wild and raw one twice a day. And then as well as I take two dropper fulls of this lymph node support one and it just has like a little dropper. I put two full droppers as much as I can in a little bit of water and I just swig it back. It's actually not, I've had worse tasting tinctures, so it wasn't terrible. Um, then I have this cayenne pepper. This goes with the red beet crystals. Uh, basically you make a lymphatic uh, drink and you heat up some water with a little bit of ginger and then you add 
about five to ten drops of cayenne pepper and I think two one or two tablespoons of the beet crystals and you mix it up and basically you drink everything warm or hot um, you're not supposed to drink anything cold because it restricts yourself internally I think next I have <clears throat> Uh, the cedarwood essential oil and the laurel leaf essential oil and these are really good for helping promote like uh, circulation and lymph drainage and so you do this with dry brushing so you just put a little bit of oil on and then dry brush your skin um, and I did not know this about dry brushing but they the whole point is you want to brush towards your heart to promote circulation um dry brushing brushing is very new to me i find it it kind of hurts me it doesn't feel that great but um the benefits are amazing plus i'm pretty sure that like the exfoliation is uh, doing wonders for my skin and so that's pretty much it i'm on day four i've lost about four almost five pounds um which is probably just water weight i'm also not uh trying to just flush my system with water what you want to do is drink when you're thirsty because you don't want water just coming in and out of your body you actually want it to go through your system so it cleans out your kidneys and everything like that um so i do think that a lot of it though is because i'm going to the bathroom more because i'm drinking more i've been making soup which tastes like baby food because i can add herbs and spices but i can't add things like chicken broth or chicken <laughs> it has to be vegetables but i've been eating watermelon and grapes oranges apples um, beets golden beets red beets um kale my favorite juice so far has been the it's beet orange apple carrot and celery and that's pretty good and that's been like my favorite that's been my favorite go-to drink so far but one thing that I have been reading and one thing that Vaughn had mentioned to me is celery juice. And there is amazing powers in celery juice, which I did not know. It literally just tastes like celery in water. Celery juice, it lowers cholesterol, blood pressure, prevents di digestive disorders, maintains acidic balance, it's anti-inflammatory, prevents, it says it prevents cancer. That's what it says. So I've been drinking a glass of celery juice every day except for today because I ran out of time but it is not terrible it's not the best but it's okay and I feel like I'll just get used to it as time goes on but uh, yeah I'm feeling great feeling a little bit tired hungry yes I miss eating food and things like I just really 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 want Chinese food like so badly um, and I, you can't have coffee. Can't have coffee, but I've been drinking a lot of tea and that's helped. But anyways, let's, I'm gonna show you uh, what how I make my celery juice. All it is is celery, but I'll just show you the process because maybe somebody will find it fascinating. Um, yeah, so let's, let's make it. Okay, so here is my juicer. I put everything in these mason jars. Don't mind all of the vegetable droppings around here. This has just been in like major use for the past four days. Um, so I put everything in a mason jar because it seals itself and it just stays fresh and then I can put it in the fridge for, I don't put it in for more than a day really. I try to drink it either the same day or the next day. I also have my washed celery. I try to keep it whole, like even, I know this kind of looks gross, but I just feel like the more that's in the juicer, it's all getting blended up anyways, the better. So make sure that this is there. That's a very important part. Then I need the, this guy. And then I just turn it on. Pop this in here. 
Okay, so this didn't quite make a full cup, but this will be enough. Tastes like celery. I mean, can't, can't, uh, I don't know. It's like a weird, it's a weird sensation. Let me just tell you that. But anyways, this is great. You're supposed to drink this on an empty stomach every morning. So this will be for me tomorrow morning. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to keep you posted with the 30 day journey if I make it to 30 days, some of the benefits, things like that. I'm hoping to do more of updates. And if you have any questions about any of the information that I said or regarding the links or the naturopath, I will have that stuff linked down below that you can check out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again in my next video.